Robert Rob here and welcome to this, the first of my build videos on my Tamiya Hotshot. Before we get into it, I wasn't going to do a step-by-step -step guide again, but it turns out that this is quite a bit different than other builds. So I will be going through quite a bit of it step-by-step. -step. For example, Step one is just sticking bearings into uh, gears and greasing them up, so we're not bothering with that. We're going to go to step two in a second and uh, go through building that. Again, this kit is not in bag order, shall we say, or parts bag order. So I've ended up opening all the uh, metal parts bags from A to D and then what I've also done is, when I've discovered which bag isn't numbered, for example this one is actually bag MR, I've uh, marked it up so that I can remember or find it again. So with that we'll get on with step two, which is quite long. Not complicated per se, but uh, quite different than uh, quite a lot of the other gearboxes and diffs that I've done. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so to start with we need this G4 piece. I don't think there's particular order other than... You've got to do this bit first, so we get uh, part MR16 and one of the 1150 bearings, pop that on and then it pops through there like so, but if you can see this is where it's getting a bit fiddly. We need to get part H1 and then this thrust bearing. And ooh, yeah, this is where it's going to be tricky, I think. <laughs> So slot in this 850 bearing here, if you see, which might be easier said than done. Oh no, there we go. And then, if you notice, there's a cutout, and that's got to line up with. The hole, there we go, yeah, and that's the prop shaft to drive in place. And then we've got one of the drive cups. Oops, I don't know what's happening with my table. It must, must be after it. Mark sat on it. Right, next job is to pop this bearing in like that. And then we pop the drive cup through. And then we need to put one of these great big E clips in. like that and at least if your dog bone comes out you're not going to lose your drive cup so that's that bit uh, I've got a, a urethane foam but I'll do that off camera I think oh no hang on I've got a little cutting mat so we need 
to cut that in half according to something somewhere where I've seen it. There we go. It's a little note that says cut in half. So we'll do that. And one side, one half goes in there. And I don't think it's going to stay in, but hey. And we take the gubbins from step one. to grease this beveled gear and then this is another weird one for me or not weird but different is we've got this part here which is B7 that has to go in this hollow shaft like so and then the hollow shaft or the black plastic part goes like that and then that slots over the tube and I'll grease, uh, I'll grease the outer gear once I've finished all the other bits and I think I possibly should have done this part here first this is something different as well this rather thin 2 by 28 millimeter bar has to slot in your drive cup I wasn't expecting that. So let's grease it up a bit, see if it'll hold it. So if your dog bone comes out, you might lose this. And then we've got parts. What part number is it? MR11. goes on second yep so again we'll get the ceramic grease and we can move on down to this part here so again where's it gone? Oh, here it is so, oh. so again we take an 11.50 bearing in place, pop the drive cup through get your e-clip pop it on we've then got this part MR10 which it goes on like so and again and then we can put the differential on 
and we're ready for step three. Okay, step three is putting the gearbox together. Um, we've got two plastic bits to pop in, E10 and E9, and they go in those positions there. And then it should just be, he says, a simple case of joining the two halves together. Easier said than done if you ask me. But hey, we will endeavour to get it done. Okay, and then we just, <laughs> he says, need to find out where the screws go. Right, so we've got one 12mm screw that goes in there. got this metal piece MS7 which goes on like so through there we go and then we've got a flange nut Right, now step four, oh, there we go, the sponge has already come out, is just attaching the um, pinion gear to the motor. So I've done that, I've just got to uh, adjust the depth and then we can move on to step five. Okay, so step five is installing the motor into the rear diff stroke gearbox. Now the kit comes with two pinion gears, a 13 tooth or a 15 tooth, but you can also go up to a 17 tooth um, and the way they space it is rather different than all other Tamiya kits I've had. We've got a basically oblong slot or rectangular slot for one of the screws and to get the adjustment we've got these four bits of hopefully stainless steel that Tommy are calling set plates and I'm choosing the 15 turn so I need to put two of these on either side of the screw as in this note here. If we went for the 13 we'd have all four on the one side and then looking back here going down to 17 turn you'd have all of them on the other side. So this might be a bit tricky. Um, I've got my B6 which I'm assuming is just to hold them all in and then as I say this is going to be the tricky bit but I'm wondering if I pop the screw through turn it over and then hopefully jiggle them in
it's in at least. Uh, so that's the one. Oh, then we've got the tube. And the other 27mm screw. That's it. Well, I think we'll have to see how that goes. But that's step five finished and we can turn the page for step six. Step six, seven and eight are making up the front gearbox stroke diff assembly and it's very similar to uh, the rear one other than we've got three gears to grease up and put bearings in and I've already gone through that on step six so step seven again is very similar to the rear gearbox so we're just going to crack on I think <laughs> Before I continue, uh, on step five it tells you to remove that, the uh, prop shaft joint, I don't know why, but I forgot to tell you. So we can get back into this, one of these thrust bearings I think they call it, on there like so, and then pop that in. And then the 850 bearing. Oops. Come on. There we go. And then the prop shaft joints. Come on. Okay, so what's going on there? Nothing. It's just a fairly stiff connection. So we know hard it was to undo. And there we go. Finally. So I just need to grease that bit up and we can carry on.
that the two gearboxes made up I think I'll leave it there for this video I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one thanks for watching bye oops forgot to put this E1 part in when I built the front gearbox so don't forget that folks